Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I talked you all outside today. We actually have oh, we actually had storm alley going on at the moment. It's not too bad though, to be honest with you. I don't think the wind is that bad. The thing I'm most annoyed about is I've got string solar lights and they're going all over into my next door neighbour's garden, so I keep having to take them. I've used sellotape to take them to the fence at the moment. But yeah, so it's a bit windy, as you expect from a storm. It's a bit windy, but it's not too bad. Um, quite a lot of leaves and that on the floor, which I'm actually going to use. I'm going to start. I want to do like some home decor fall stuff, autumn, with some leaves. So I'm going to pick up those in a bit. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. But I wanted to have a chat to you all today anyway. I thought I'd do some vlogging today. I've been feeling really, really down. I don't know what it is. I know I have a lot. I've had a lot go on in the last couple of days. So I mean, obviously, I got home, so I've got hair. My, I even put all my makeup on, put all my big eyelashes on, and I just didn't feel like filming. Um, it's unlike me. I'm trying to be a bit more upbeat and upright. Upright? What's upright? A bit more upbeat about things but um been in touch with some recruitment agencies today and things like that so that's good get all that ticking along but um yeah so i've been a bit down to be honest with you. i know i've had a lot to deal with with my grandmother's death moving in the last six months so i've moved 300 miles away contract ended at my job lost my nan so obviously i've had a lot to deal with don't know anyone up here but anyway gonna stop getting being down in the dumps and try and be a bit more upbeat um yeah but i'm gonna vlog today but yeah it's blinking windy but it's not too bad it's not too bad at the minute i mean today it's about what is it about half past one something like that in the afternoon so it's not too bad but pretty windy So I've just come upstairs because I actually think the um, lighting's a bit better up here for you to see me and a bit less noisy than outside. But yes, yeah, so I've been a bit down in the dumps for the last couple of days, trying to snap out of it, but can't help how you feel sometimes, can you? And I guess this is normal how I'm feeling right now, but I'm gonna try and be a bit more positive. But um yeah, so what I was going to talk to you about, have any of you been watching Big Brother, the new series? Do you know what? Whenever a new series of Big Brother starts, I always hate it and then I like it a bit further on. To be honest with you, there's nobody in there I really, really like. There's a ginger head guy who's a farmer. I like him. And at the moment, if I'm completely, completely honest with you, that's about it. There's a girl calls it Anna Amelia or something like that. Could not stand her attention-seeking... Um, talks rubbish and sort of like she's really is one of those people um who's like a say as i say and not as i do manipulative i feel and yeah she's trying to i don't know i just don't like her at all at the moment maybe my thoughts on her will change she could have an argument with a plain brick wall she just i think it's all for airtime at the moment all kind of desperate to you know get there what the hell was flying around out there 
all so kind of desperate just to, you know, get their faces shown on the screen and get some more airtime at the moment. But also, let me just sit down actually if I can. If you can still see me. Yes, you can. There is so much as well drama going on with the other drama channels. I wouldn't I don't class I have to stand up again. I don't class myself as a drama channel. I do talk about drama bits and bobs, but I do have I like to have a bit of variety on my channel here. So although I will talk about drama and stuff like that, I talk about so many other things I do vlogging and this is just a bit of fun for me, an outlet, you know how it is, and to talk about my candles, my waxes and stuff like that. But yeah, there's all stuff going on with Dustin, Petty Page, Peter Mon. I've spoken to every single one of those individually in the last two or three years. I'm not friends, I won't class myself to be friends with any of them. Um, I've spoken to them all really, really briefly and that's about it. Unfortunately, am I surprised this has happened? No, you've got people with very strong personalities here. And one thing I will say about it is I do think it's a real shame that it's come to this. I do hope they can sort their differences out. I think there's probably wrongs on all sides with it all. I'm not gonna di divulge or, you know, look into it, talk about it too much on here. Because, I don't know, what I feel is a shame is that a friendship, albeit an internet friendship, when you've never actually met someone face to face, I find it such a shame that this has broken a friendship. And I understand Dustin's point of view, 100% I understand it. I really do. And Peter may well have done things wrong on his side as well. On his side. However, I just feel it's such a shame when people are talking to each other every day and stuff like that, that it's just ended. Sorry if I pulled a such an awful face just then, but my neighbour's bin just fell down in the street and oh, I just made such a loud noise. I was like, oh, blinking windy out there. So, as I was saying, I'm not surprised this has happened. I just find it a shame that when people are friends that a friendship ends to a degree. They're all so hungry, and there's nothing wrong with this. Please don't take this as a criticism. All so hungry to do well in the drama community. Oh, Alex is going outside to pick my neighbour's bin up. He's been like collecting all the bins today. But they're all so hungry to do well with this, but which is understandable and I get it. Maybe I should be more like that. But then also, I feel that some things are important and friendship is important. And sorry about that. I just got interrupted. How dare they from a recruitment agent put me through for a job. Do you know what these jobs now? I just don't even, this is really don't take, I don't mean I don't care, but I don't let it, I don't think about it too much of my brain until I get an interview or anything like that. I just, there's no point in wasting brain space on it because sometimes you'll get loads of people call, oh yeah, 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 and then you hear nothing. So I'm just not even worrying about it. But what I was saying before was that I feel that you get so many, you got all these guys, like obviously you've got Paige, you've got Dustin, you got Peter so invested in this and I get it I get it I really really do I just hope all I'm saying on this is that I hope they can all resolve their differences and if not just learn to maybe be just be respectful of one another and yeah some things you don't have to broadcast over the internet that's all I'm gonna say but you know I like them all no problems with any of our, any of them but yeah blinking windy out there I tell you <laughs> So, got a real, real problem here actually. I'll show you in a minute, but one of the trees outside that goes onto the metro, um, as well, it's fallen. Um, it's falling, it's right in front of our garden, and the actual, the thing is, it's gonna go fall onto the metro. So Alex is getting on the phone to, is it Network Rail or whoever, I don't know. But I said to Alex, I was in the kitchen, and I said, we've got this smaller tree in front, and it looks like the tree behind it might be, broken and I can hear it cracking. I'll try and show you. So I'm not sure how much you can see but this tree not something the bag is blown in there but it's got this skinny tree. The tree behind it and you can hear the root cracking. I mean I just don't want it to fall and hurt anyone. I don't want it to fall on my house either but I think it's falling the other way. Alex wants me to come in. I can actually hear can actually hear the root cracking I'm gonna to have to go in a minute I don't know if it's safe but um I thought yeah my god oh no they're gonna to have to come out pretty quick because this could really this could be a real problem 
I mean, look at all of this on the floor, the branches. But yeah, obviously more bothered about this tree behind, blinking bag there. But yeah, I'm going to cut it. Today. So Alex just spoke to Nexus, and do you know what they said? Oh, we'll let Control know. There's potentially, I know let's guess that's what they've got to do, but there's potentially a tree that's going to fall on the track. So the actual tree has fallen onto another tree and another one has fallen with it. So they're kind of leaning onto another tree behind the house. Um, Alex spoke to, well, DM'd um, Network Rail and they just said they're going to look into it or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. So I actually think the wind has calmed down a little bit. It's still windy out there, don't get me wrong, but I do feel that the wind has calmed down slightly. But yes, yeah, so we're still waiting for, I don't know, the tree people to come out and sort the trees. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, so waiting for them to do that. But, oh, so it's me in the morning, first of all going, I don't think it's that bad. The wind had actually been a lot worse than I thought it was. So, oh, nightmare. So how's the wind been where everyone else is? I think it's more of a problem, obviously, up in the north, on the northeast, and like Scotland and stuff like that. I think Scotland have got it a lot worse than us. But, ah, oh, blustery, windy, I don't know. I just hope to get these trees sorted because I do not want them falling on a house and I do not want the trees falling onto the railway track. I mean, it could just be devastating for everyone if that happened. But anyway, so what am I doing for the rest of the day? Not loads, as, you know, just um, sort of taking it easy now. But I will be, what am I going to do? I'm probably doing a little bit of editing if I can be bothered. I haven't actually got a video going up today and I don't think I want to put one up because I haven't got any. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm probably not going to bother. I'm actually going to the shops, I think, tomorrow. I need to get some groceries. So we're going to be doing that. And if I have no plans on Friday, I'm planning, planning on doing a Halloween makeup tutorial. And if I can't do it Friday, I can hopefully do one Saturday and Sunday. Um, I don't get hardly any views on those, but you know what, I don't care, because I just enjoy getting creative. But I want to put some wigs on, put some glitter on my face. So I'm going to try and do that, just take my mind off stuff, make me happy. So that's what I'm going to do. Going to melt some more wax in a minute. But yeah, you know, just what I touched on earlier regarding the um, sort of drama channels, pick them on page, and Dustin, as I said, I have nothing against any of them. They're all doing their thing. And that's what I love about YouTube. I feel there's room for everyone to do anything. If anyone wants to start a YouTube channel, just go and do it. Don't give a flying, you know what, what anyone else thinks. Just do it. But I feel that there's, you know, there's room for everyone. And I'm hoping, the only thing I can hope in with, I can, what am I talking about? The only thing I'm hoping about with all of this that's gone on is that people learn from it just to maybe be a bit kinder to each other. And also to be maybe, I don't know, more, I don't even know what to say really, because as I said, I think there's wrongs and rights on both sides. I saw the video, or sort of you now video, of Peter Mon and Paige, and I don't know what to think of that. I think Peter was really, really upset. He should have let Paige speak, but he did apologise at the end. I just don't know where they can go from this. I just hope they sort it all out because they were, Dustin and Peter were really good friends before. So I just find that so sad and I'm hoping that they can become friends again. And this is half the reason, do you know what? I'm not friends really of anyone on YouTube. I mean, like I said, I've spoken to all of them briefly in the past. I wouldn't call us friends, but I just keep myself to myself. And sometimes I think that's the best way because then you don't get involved in any of this. And I don't know. You have to be really careful who you trust, unfortunately. Not just in YouTube, in life in general. But I just keep myself to myself and I just stay in my lane. 